There's been a series of aftershocks here in Trona near the epicenter. 3.5 was the latest one. Very unsettling. The good news here, though, is the electricity is back on. This one got to me, and I'm still a little shaken up. A lifelong resident of Trona says the earthquake that rocked her small town traumatized her. Trona is very close to the epicenter. Still worried about the aftershocks, and they keep saying that we might have more. So it's, it's scary. Man, it started shaking. The TV fell off of the wall. The, all three rooms of the house is just caved in. It shook our refrigerator all the way into the middle of the kitchen. Tourists traveling through Trona from Death Valley got the scare of a lifetime. People go to Death Valley. Oh my God, it's really scary. You know, people for the other countries and really scary, yeah. The people go outside and, you know, and start crying and everything, you know, the gross and everything. Yeah, oh yeah, it's really scary. The earthquake knocked out power here and damaged some homes. Ashley Evans showed us these pictures of the inside of her Trona house. She was in her car with her two-week-old baby when the ground started violently shaking. I thought my tire popped because my car was going like this, and then I, I, I like went into the dirt, and then I seen like the, the road had like waves in it, and then a truck coming was like hitting the, the bumps, and then it stopped. And then I was like in front of the school and the whole school was just going back and forth. Ashley also showed us these photos and videos from businesses here in Trona and in Ridgecrest. The earthquake shook store shelves and flung glass bottles to the ground. On the highway outside of Trona, severe damage to the road. Crews have already patched it up. For the folks who live here, it's now a waiting game for when the town will get back to normal. They showed us to turn off our gas and everything. And we did and now we're just riding it out and hoping no more. There is a mineral plant here in Trona, and there was some concern that the chemicals they use in that plant might leak out because of the earthquake. But firefighters here told us everything was taken care of because of safety precautions that are in place. In Trona, I'm Tom Waite, KPIX 5. Near Ridgecrest, the jolt caused this house to go up in flames. Items flew off the shelves of a supermarket, and broken bottles littered the roof of a liquor store. Tonight, there have been more than 100 aftershocks, and Caltech warns it may not be over. There is about a 1 in 20 chance that this location will be having an even bigger earthquake within the next few days that we have not yet seen the biggest earthquake of the sequence. Well, Governor Gavin Newsom has approved an emergency proclamation in Kern County.